everyone. So I'm shooting this in the vertical mode because I wanted to be able to post it on Instagram and YouTube. So pardon the kind of interesting angle compared to how my usual YouTubes go. But um, so mobility is getting really hard for me. Um, my pelvic joint is just separating terribly. So um, I now have a lovely, let's see if I can get it in the frame, excuse the mess, my lovely walker. And then over there, there you go, cane and grabber tool. So, um, but this is common for me in pregnancies. And so one of the things that I have uh, figured out is that if I am to be comfortable um, and not just sitting there doing nothing, I need to have a station set up near my most favored seating position and um, have everything there that I need. And it's, I kind of, well, I, I usually just call it my station, but um, it's kind of like the thing where I say, can you bring me blah, blah, blah. If I ask for it a lot, then it's in my station so that I don't have to ask for it as often and I feel like a little less of a burden on people. So let me show you what I have in my station. I just got it together today because I probably should have had it together a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I have in my station. So first off, uh, this is the chair that I like to sit in. It's most comfortable for me and it gives me the best view. That is a donut cushion. Yes, I need it. And it was a gift from uh, one of my subscribers. So on, a, on Instagram, one of my followers on Instagram, I was very grateful for it. So I keep some of my accessible stuff right next to me so that I can use it to get up out of the chair, reach things that have fallen, things like that. All right, so, but here comes the more interesting stuff. This is my station, and I also have a little pocket on the side of the chair, and I'll show you what's in there. So let's start with this little station. So I find most often that I'm just hungry or thirsty, and I don't want to ask people to bring me anything because... I just don't. <laughs> I don't like being a burden on anybody. So, um, what I've stocked myself up with is snacks and drinks that are as healthy as I can get, and some things that are shelf stable. Um, I'll mention a few things that I don't have in here that I normally would too, but I just haven't stocked them up yet. So, um, when I go make my tea, I make a hot tea, and then after it has steeped a while, I plop the bag into my cold water and then I have a drink for later. So that's two drinks for the time consumption of one. And then I usually have a couple of fresh fruits here. Yes, I know my kids are probably going to come over and try to steal them from me, but luckily they're all old enough now that I can send them over to the table and say, go get your own. You can have one. Just go get your own. So, and then I have a bin in here. I have to be kind of careful opening it right now because I do have those hot drinks up there. But in here, I have, these are body armors. Gatorades were, used to be my thing of choice, but now it's body armors. There's different flavors and bottles of water so that I don't have to always ask somebody to get them for me. Um, cliff bars. Decent amount of calories in a bar. Um, and then have this is a snack pack uh if my kids so i so i have five kids sometimes if things come in six packs mama gets the extra one i stick it in here and i have spoons for stirring tea or eating if i need it i also stock raisins good iron and sugar in there for if my blood sugar is getting low uh, cheese crackers and nuts for protein so that kind of does it for the food and drink section. Now, I'm not just sitting here eating and drinking. I have other things I have to do, too. Um, so I like to keep my notebook nearby, and I have pens in the little pocket that I'll show you in a little bit. Um, that way I can write anything down that's important. And let's move the camera down a little bit. 
down here I have um, some of the like toiletries and stuff and it's hard to see because it's kind of dark but I also have my Bible back there because that's where it fits best. I have lotion for those dry feet, um, socks in case I get cold and don't want to ask somebody to get me a blanket or socks. I would normally have a rice bag that I can ask someone to warm up in the microwave for me. I have tissues. Um, there. I, I don't buy Kleenex very often, so just toilet paper works fine for me. A diaper in case the little one comes up and needs a diaper change and nobody's around for me to holler at. And wipes. Wipes are more useful than just for diaper butts, but um, wiping hands, uh, freshening up if you need to, things like that. Next to it, I always have craft projects that I have going. Uh, right now, crochet is a big one for me because I can set it down whenever I need to. Throw it in the bag and I know it's fine. Trash bag back there in case I need to throw things away, which does frequently happen. And um, I would also sometimes put uh, fruit cups and applesauces in here. Um, be careful because the tin foil can get punctured <laughs> and make a mess. Um, I've never had a little mini fridge, um, but I know some people do, and if you do, that would be a great thing to keep by your side so that you can access what you need right away. Um, some people like to have like a iced coffees that are shelf stable, whatever makes you more comfortable, whatever you like to eat and drink that settles well in your stomach. All right, I'll show you what's in my little side pocket too. So I'll show you my side pocket and I'll show you how I made it and how I stuck it where it is. Okay, so let's see. This is my little side pocket for my chair and how it is attached is it actually goes underneath the arm of the chair. See, I found that I can actually lift this up. I'm not going to do it now, but it actually came off once. so. I took that opportunity and just slid it through and now it's pretty well stuck all right so basically I just sewed a little pocket and uh, that's where I keep things that I don't really want the kids to see and get into uh, but I need accessible so I'll just kind of bring them out one at a time or two at a time and show you what I've gotten there um, reading material. These are a Bible study that I'm doing currently, so if I have quiet time, I can do some of my Bible study. The next thing, let's see, I've got an eraser. Um, you'd be surprised how often you need this when you're doing journaling and stuff, and erasers are like gold in our house. Um, if anyone finds them, they take them and hide them, so I hide them first. Got a couple of pens. Usually I have a pencil too to go with the eraser. But somebody went mining in my pocket, so that's not there. All right, um, hairbrush. When you're feeling just absolutely awful, like I can't take care of anything, it feels really nice to just be able to brush your hair. Just to brush your hair and then to put it in ponytail or bun or whatever. And I have a few of these because I also have little girls running around and oftentimes they'll come up to me needing attention. So, um, brush their hair and put ponies in everybody's hair and then everybody looks like I took care of them today. <laughs> um, deodorant. If mobility is an issue for you and getting into the shower and out of the shower is a really hard thing, sometimes being able to just freshen up makes a huge difference in your mental health. And then the last couple things in the same vein. Um, I've got lip balm that I made. Nice for those dry lips. And nail clippers. Because if you're sitting there not doing a whole hell of a lot, pardon me, a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> this is a family friendly channel, Tracy. Alright, if you're sitting there not doing a whole lot, you're going to be starting to inspect all your little imperfections. And um, having some nail clippers instead of teeth really helps, especially if you have anxiety like I do. So, all right. 
I actually set up another one of these stations near my bed and it's not quite so full. It's mostly just a few cliff bars, some baby wipes, and um, drinks, but not water. I don't put water by my bedside because I have uh, hyperemesis gravidarum and if I drink water first thing in the morning or while I'm sleeping, I always, always start throwing up. Um, I don't know. I just do. So I don't put water there. I put one of my electrolyte drinks. And I usually put a hard candy or two. Um, and let's see. I'll usually put a diaper there too. Now the best thing about this station is that it's super convenient to transfer this into a breastfeeding station. Um, it's all basically the same thing. Um, you might want to have a couple, um, if you pump, you want, might, might want to have your pump here. You might want to have your bags and stuff like that here, um, just for ease. If you don't pump, you might want to have other feeding supplies, whatever you want. Um, I'll usually end up having my boppy just kind of like wedged down there, um, <laughs> for feeding babies. And I've got, it's a rocking chair, so... It's nice and convenient for rocking babies. Um, let's see, what else? Um, it's just it's just nice and convenient to have everything where you need it, where you want it to be, so that you don't have to constantly be asking somebody to bring you something. It's kind of a boost when you're feeling kind of down. So, what else would you add to a station like this? I would love to know. Put it in some comments or message me or whatever. And uh, thanks for listening. Bye. God bless.